So if it's your goal to become a paid, yes, a paid content creator in 2024, then this is gonna be an amazing video for you to watch. So I know when you're strolling on social media, you come across these influencers and content creators that are getting huge PR packages that are booking these huge brand deals. They are just in their influencer bag. And you might think to yourself, like, how can I get on this level? Like, how can I get on this level as a content creator? So this video is going to explain everything to you guys. This video is going to be the easiest straight to the point explanation of how you can become a paid content creator in 2024. So I would definitely consider myself a highly successful influencer. I mean, after all, I've been doing this for 10 years now. I also have over 2 million followers across social media. I really don't want you guys to pay too much attention to the 2 million followers that I have because followers do not always mean you are successful. Followers do not always equal to dollar signs. So more importantly, I am am a successful influencer who generates six figures a year as a creator. And not only that, let's also add that I've been on every single PR list that is under the sun. And my favorite still has to be Huda Beauty, which is actually what I have on my lips today. So believe me, I am more than qualified to make this video. I feel like a lot of successful content creators, influencers do not make these type of videos because a lot of them just don't feel the need to make these type of videos. Like they are in their creator bag and they just don't have time to be making these type of educational videos. Me, on the other hand, I do have a background of teaching before I became a influencer. So wanting to teach and wanting to help people is something that comes to me naturally. So in this video, I'm gonna sum up what it takes to become a paid creator. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new here, welcome. So as you guys know, here on my channel, I create absolutely free videos that is going to help you become a paid creator. That's going to help you grow your business. And that's literally just going to help you overall grow as a entrepreneur. So I really want to encourage you guys to hit the subscribe button for your benefit, because these are absolutely free courses. As you guys know, everybody's charging for eBooks. Everybody's charging for courses nowadays. My goal is to have this channel, a place where you guys can run to just in case you want to learn anything that is social media. So go ahead and subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you are never missing one of these free gem videos. So the first step to becoming successful in anything you do is going to be your mind frame. I always tell you guys, if you are working with a mentor, if you're working with a coach, the first thing they will always work on is going to be your mind frame and the way you think. Because having a poor mind frame is literally going to stop you is going to limit you from getting in your influencer bag and we don't want that happening this is also why being an influencer is definitely not for the week i have to learn how to adapt a i can do anything mind frame because if you think about it what makes me different from you like we all have the same 24 hours absolutely must have the mind frame of perseverance because you are like it's it's a journey to be a content creator and it's not going to happen overnight sometimes you're going to do things wrong so you definitely have to have the mindset of perseverance and when it comes to mindset as a content creator i always want you guys to remember that we all start somewhere so try not to get sidetracked by other people and and their growth like the rate they're growing how they're growing how fast they're growing try not to be sidetracked with that your focus should be completely on yourself and growing as a content creator as a content creator you have to always have the mindset of growth never feel like you know everything because there is always room for improvement also I want to add you have to have a very adaptive mind frame because social media does change a lot and if you're unable to change with each platform, then you will definitely get left behind. This is what happened to so many of my peers. I'm sure you guys have friends who used to be creators that don't do content creation anymore because they're not able to keep up with it. Like you have to keep up, you have to be able to adapt to every social media platform that you're gonna be posting on. So remember, slow and steady growth over fast and temporary. Because when the wave comes in and your content starts to get discovered, you want to be prepared. Step two to becoming a paid content creator in 2024, choosing your niche. I actually 
don't like saying this word. <laughs> I say it too much, so it becomes annoying to me. And I really don't like to bottle people up into one category, but it's important to have a niche. I'm sorry to say that. Having a niche is absolutely needed to grow your new community because pretty much that's what social media is. I also want you guys to keep in mind when you are finding your niche to make sure it's something that you can do with your eyes closed, something that you absolutely love do. So having a niche is important because it's gonna allow you to show up in front of your people. So if you are a person who loves to do hair, then hair people, that's your people. Fashion people, that could be your people. Makeup people, that's your people. Pink people, I'm the pink people. <laughs> Three to becoming a content creator is discovering your target audience. So the target audience is gonna go hand in hand with your niche. So on social media, it's all about targeting the right people with the right type of content. After determining your niche, it's your job to learn more about who your target audience is and what they like, who they need. What is that community lacking. So what type of problems are they facing this target audience? These are things you must figure out about your target audience. It will help you to create content that is actually going to be helpful for them. So step four to becoming a paid content creator is actually creating content. Listen, to become a content creator, you have to create content. To become anything you wanna become, you have to do what it is you are trying to become. So here are some tips for creating content. Number one, you want to have good quality content. Your camera is in focus. You have really good lighting. Your videos are not dark. People can actually see your face or if it's not your face that you're showing, people can actually see the product or whatever you are showcasing in your videos. Lighting and quality is very important. You guys absolutely do not need fancy cameras to create content. Using an iPhone is perfectly fine. The way these iPhones are set up now, they look just like having a professional camera. So as far as creating content and editing content, I definitely want to recommend you guys to check out CapCut. CapCut has changed the game for so many content creators because before CapCut, there was apps, like I used to use Final Cut Pro, which is a very expensive program. So CapCut, Cut is a free program that you guys can use. I definitely recommend upgrading to the pro version, but CapCut is what most creators use for their short term content, like reels and shorts, TikTok, all that. We edit with CapCut. And also, if you guys want to go further in depth on how to actually record and create and edit content, I do have a marketing course that is going to be linked below in the description or up here somewhere for those of you who are interested. So if you want creating content to be super duper easy, I would say to just use TikTok. You can create the content on TikTok because it has a timer, they have filters, they have everything you need to create a really good video. And then once you film that video, you can just download that video right away. And that way you can repurpose this content on every other platform. So after a while, you will definitely get the hang of creating content and this is where personal branding is going to come in because your page is going to start to look cohesive like it's going to start to look aesthetic it's going to start to look the same so that is where your personal brand comes in because you're going to be you're going to become known for a certain type of look a certain type of content step five to becoming a paid content creator in 2024 is having a strategy when you come on social media you can't just start randomly posting oh going about your day and oh let me just randomly post you have to have a posting strategy so i'm not gonna come on here and tell you guys oh post at six o'clock or post at noon or post at 9 p.m I'm not gonna do that because I don't believe in a specific posting time. Like my posting time is gonna be different from your posting time. What I do suggest you guys to do is try to post every day of the week and post at different times. This is gonna be the only way you are able to figure out what works for you because there is no specific time that you're supposed to be posting on social media because believe it or not, you can post a video today and then it won't pick up and then next week the video will start picking up. So I really, I wouldn't really focus on posting times, more on 
the most times you can post so try to post a few times during the week do not post once a week you guys you want to grow so you want to be posting multiple times a week now once you start posting you are going to start to see a pattern in like your best time to post or when your followers are more active you will get a pattern so in order to get that pattern you have to experiment so you have to keep trying and posting different pieces of content, certain times, certain days, and then you will eventually figure out what works for you. And this is how you are gonna be able to establish a strategy for posting on social media. Stop taking advice from people that are giving you posting times. There is no such thing as a posting time. Step six to becoming a paid content creator is you want to start to build your content and target brands that you want to work with. So listen, you're watching this video because you wanna be a paid content creator. So that means you wanna make money from creating content. So if you're going in this with the mind frame of making money, then you want your profile to be set up to make money, right? So that means all of those top creators that brands are paying, that brands are booking, that brands are adding to their PR list, you want to go on their content and see what is it that these brands like about their content. So you want to start creating content like that, but personalize it, like make it to yourself. So if there's a certain way that they're filming, like sitting in front of the ring light, then obviously the brands like the beauty creators to sit in front of the ring light. Like they like well lit videos. Um, if you're doing hair unboxings and then you can see certain ways that the girls are showing the hair, like they're doing close-ins on the hairline and they're doing unboxing. So you have to examine and do your research. So the goal is to create content that these brands are gonna want to pay for. Because trust me, they will definitely go down your profile to see the type of content that you create. Which is why I call social media kind of like a portfolio because this way the brands are able to see the type of content that you're creating to determine whether or not they wanna work with you or not. So you want to start tagging these brands in your content so they can become aware of who you are and the type of content that you create. So it's funny because this is actually how I ended up working with Meta for Facebook creators because I was creating the type of content for free already that they were looking for. So it was easy for them to choose me to work with because it's already the content that they needed from creators. So that's how I was able to work with Meta. That's how I was able to work with um, AliExpress. That's how I'm able to work with Alibaba. All of these brands are finding me and booking me because it's already the content that I create. So it's what they're looking for. Step seven for becoming a paid content creator in 2024, stay consistent and always be willing to grow. Always be willing to better your content. I mentioned in the beginning, never become a person who feels like they know it all. Once you become comfortable with your content and your page is set up, you're able to stroll down your page and see the quality of your content. This is when you probably you, you want to start charging for your content now because you would have already content to show. You have a community, engagement, followers. So you want to start charging. Brands should be reaching out to you by now also. So you're going to need a rate sheet or a rate card. This is going to be a paper, which you can create on Canva for free. They have free templates. So this paper is going to have your rates per post. So it's going to be like, what do you charge for Instagram Reel? What do you charge for in-feed picture? What are you charging for stories? And then you wanna do that for every platform that you're posting on. And you also want to include your analytics on this rate sheet. Again, Canva has templates and they will tell you everything that you are going to be inputting on your rate sheet. You want a rate sheet because it's very professional. Like you, if I'm a brand, would you want to work with someone who just has a random rate like oh ma'am can we have your rates and you just send them oh it's a hundred dollars per video no send them your professional rate sheet i also want to add as a beginner it's completely okay to do stuff for free doing stuff for free is actually going to save you money and it's also going to allow you to start building up your content because you're going to be getting free products in exchange for posting for brands. So definitely this is completely okay, but after you have built an audience and you actually have people that are looking up for you for your influence, which is like what an influencer is, 
is, then you definitely should start charging. So after all these steps, you should be at the point where you are now a paid creator. And I just wanna say you guys, this does not happen overnight. Again, I'm 10 years in and I'm doing six figures after 10 years, you guys, it's crazy. It takes a while to grow. You might grow faster or you might grow slower. You, you never know. Evolution, social media is always evolving. Like I said, just be adaptable, become adaptable because these platform, the, the platforms will change so you have to know how to change with them. And that's the summary of how to become a paid creator in 2024. Again, if you guys want further in depth information, these are just quick tips that I took from my master course. The master course is the real deal, you guys. This course has 19 different video modules and I go fully in depth you guys get homework you get ebooks you get a social media planner you get a content planner it's a master course it's absolutely insane so if you guys are interested again it's gonna be linked in the description for those of you who are interested so that is gonna be it for today's video I hope you guys found this video helpful be sure to subscribe turn on the notification bell so you never miss one of the videos you guys and that is gonna be it thank you so much for watching you guys I'll catch you guys on the next video peace and much love bye guys